Hello, my name is Jacqueline Kim, and today I'm going to be talking about how to use your pegs to tune your violin. Traditionally, on a full-size violin, you use your pegs for G, D, and A string, and for your E string, you use your fine tuner. However, some student full-size violins have fine tuners on all of the strings. If you look at the top of your peg box, you'll see that the strings are wrapped around your pegs. They're wrapped around your pegs away from you or to the right. When you are tightening a string, you're making it higher. And when you loosen a string, you make it lower. You can also think righty tighty, lefty loosey. So righty tighty, tighter is higher. Lefty loosey, looser is lower. The pegs stay in tight because when you turn them, you need to push them in towards the peg box. So the ones on the right, you'll push in this way, and the ones on the left, you'll push in this way towards the peg box. When you first start using the pegs, it may be difficult. You do need quite a bit of strength to push the pegs into the peg box to keep them in there. But what helps is to figure out how to grab the pegs in a certain way with your hands so that you can turn them and push them. Sometimes our pegs are turned in a way that makes it difficult. And if your peg is flipped or up and down or sideways and it's uncomfortable for your hand position, you can unravel the string and re-string your string so that the peg is in the correct position that makes it easier for you to tune. Traditionally, we start tuning with an A string. When you're tuning, you want to have at least two fingers gripping the peg and then one finger on the other side so that you can push towards whichever direction you need to. For A string, remember we're pushing towards this direction. Some people like to go lower first and then higher. So if you turn your peg to the left, I made the string lower and now I'm gonna go back up. And you could hear that I went a little bit lower and then a little bit higher to find the correct pitch. As I'm turning the peg, I'm making sure that I'm pushing it towards the peg box so that it stays. If it doesn't stay, that means your peg slipped. And so you need to push a little bit harder into the peg box. Now, D string is the opposite way. I like to grab my D string peg with my first finger and my thumb, and then I wrap around my other fingers around the scroll. I'm going to go lower and then higher to find the right pitch. And it might take a couple of tries to get there. You might find that uh, I can't find the right pitch. Well, you just keep trying, keep wiggling, do a little bit different motions, maybe a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. So some people like to do it that way, where they start lower and then they bring the pitch up. But some people like to go higher first, just like this. And then they bring the pitch lower to find the correct pitch. Um, I was taught to do it lower and then go up, but I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. Just whatever you feel more comfortable or whatever makes more sense to you. And then like G string, I like to grab uh, the peg with my thumb and my first finger, pinch it tightly, and then my pinky comes around this way and I'm really pushing in the peg box with the, um, my pinky against my pinky. <laughs> you usually tune it with your fine tuner. The reason why we use the fine tuner for E string is because the E string is very, very thin. So if you use the peg, a lot of times it snaps, it breaks. And so we try to avoid that by using a more gentle method of tuning, like the fine tuner. However, when you first string your E string, you will have to use the pegs. And if your string slips, you'll also have to use the peg. Just be very gentle with the E string peg and try not to go above the 
pitch too much. When you stretch the string or it gets a little too tight, so it gets a little too high, that's when it usually snaps. And it'll usually snap um, at the nut or the bridge because that's where there's the most tension. Couple more tips about tuning with your pegs. Sometimes your pegs sound very cracky, like k -k -k -k, and they're not turning smoothly. There's a product I use when my pegs are a little too sticky and they won't turn smoothly. There's not really a name. It's called the Original Hill Composition for Pegs Which Have Ceased to Turn Smoothly to be applied sparingly. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to purchase this. And it looks like this. And what you do is you'll take out your peg, you'll take out the string, and then you'll just rub this on the peg a little bit. And then you'll restring your violin and the peg and you'll turn it and it'll be a lot more smooth. If it's not smooth enough, you can apply a little bit more. And then with the opposite problem, you might have a peg that's very smooth, that keeps slipping and it doesn't feel like there's enough grip. If that's true, then you use a little bit of graphite, just a regular pencil. So the same way, you take out your peg, you take out the string, and you just kind of scratch on the peg a little bit and then you put it in and it has just a little bit more friction which will help keep the peg still inside your violin. When I teach my students how to use their pegs, the two most common problems they have are one, they're not using enough strength, and two, it feels very awkward. If you watch other people tune their violin, everyone's hand shape is a little bit different and everyone's position is a little bit different. So you really have to find what works for you. I even see some people lean up against their knees so that they have a little bit more strength. And then for my A string, sometimes I do like to grip it like this and I'll even put my hand right here so I have some sort of friction or leverage so that I can push my peg into the box a little bit more. So you have to figure out what works for you and you just have to do it a lot. The more you tune, the better you're gonna get at it. One thing to be cautious about when you're first learning how to tune your pegs is to keep an eye out on the bridge. Remember that our bridge is quite fragile and it's not glued down to the violin. So as you're pulling your pegs, pushing your pegs, and you keep turning them away from you, the tension of the strings is pulling this way. And so when you keep pulling, 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 the bridge starts to lean and you don't want it to lean. You want it to be sticking straight up. So if it's leaning, you need to fix it and put it back or you can ask your teacher to do that for you, but keep an eye out on the bridge and make sure that it's not leaning too much. If you have any more questions about tuning or using the pegs, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.